Okay, so before we get into today's beater box unboxing, I just wanted to take this opportunity at the very beginning of the video to let you guys know that I'm very, very thankful that we hit 75,000 subscribers. Like, 75,000. To put that in context of how huge that is for me, this is the population of my home island, Kauai. 72,000. That's the population. And we have 75,000 subs. That is insane, man. So thank you guys so much for that. And in order to give back, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, which we haven't done in a while, I think since like 50,000. So it's been a long time coming. Anyway, for this giveaway, the link will be in the description below. All you have to do is hit the gleam.io link, follow the Instagram for an entry, follow the Twitter for an entry. And if you guys aren't already, subscribe to the channel and you'll be entered for three entries into the giveaway. And what we're gonna be giving away, I figured uh, we've done it in the past, but I haven't done it at this scale. We're gonna be giving away a hype box for free. So you guys have watched the videos where I do the hype box unboxings. You guys seen Supreme, you guys see Bape, you guys see all of that good stuff, shoes. I'm gonna make one of those for you guys, send it out completely for free. So whoever wins that should definitely have a nice come up right there. Hopefully I can do more of these in the future and just give back to as many people as I can. Let's get into this now. 75,000, that's insane. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here, back with your favorite series, this beater box series. This beater box, as always, comes to us from soulsupremacy.com. If you guys have never heard of Soul Supremacy, they're a shop out in the Bay Area of California that specializes in selling shoes, hype beasts, street clothes, they got mystery boxes, they got soul steals, they got a lot of stuff, so check them out. Their link will be in the description below. But anyway, this box should be crazy. It is $1,875, $1,875, plus $100 shipping, so $1,975. If you guys have never heard of a beater box before, a beater box is essentially a mystery box full of sneakers. They can be in used or new condition, and what you're supposed to do with them is to clean them up, resell them, and maybe make some profit on each of these boxes. They come in different sizes, different conditions, like I said, so it's not really meant for you to like try to build your collection with. I would say that's more of the hype box kind of stuff. Beater boxes is definitely more for resale and things of that nature. So hopefully we got something good. Let's check it out, 1975. Whew. Okay, here we go. First impressions. Okay. Every shoe has a box, that is a good first sign. And we're gonna pull out this one first, if I can get it out. Uh, this one is an Air Force One Low Retro, size 12. Okay, this is some kind of NYC Air Force One Low. Not too familiar with this one. It does look like it's in dead stock, brand new condition. And it does have a flight club tag on it. I've never seen this, this is interesting. So I'm assuming these don't really go for a lot of money, uh, but they are dead stock and brand new. And yeah, this is kind of interesting, I like this. Not sure exactly how much they go for, but you guys should be able to see that on the counter on the screen, so that's shoe number one. Next shoe out, we have a, whew, it's not a good box so far. Jordan Jumpman Team 1 in a size 9.5. It's definitely not a good shoe. Bruh, this is purple as fuck. Look at that, uh, I don't know, and it's not even DS, so definitely not a money shoe I'm assuming. If I'm completely wrong and these are worth like $500, $600, then that's cool, but I don't think so. So that's shoe number two, uh, hopefully it picks up. Next one out, we got a Jordan 11 low, size nine and a half. Oh, this is an interesting box, man. Um, this is a Georgetown low 11, but as you can see, it is pretty used. Uh, there's like fraying over here, which isn't good. Bottoms dirtied up. Insides are pretty well worn. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> there's probably not too much value on this, unfortunately. Whew. Hope they sent the right box. Okay, well, we'll keep pressing on. Uh, this is a Jordan 4 retro, size nine and a half. Whoa, okay, <laughs> and it just got good. So we got the Jordan 4 Doran Beckers. Look at this, this is nice. And yeah, the condition looks solid on this, man. Minimal paint chipping on the inside, very minimal. Bottoms are really nice for this pair. It looks like it was worn maybe a couple times at most. Insides look clean. This is a dope pair. I like this. If you guys didn't know, Jordan 4 Doran Beckers are actually like one of my original grails. I was hunting for the shoe a long time. You guys can see it in the back over there. Yeah, if you guys don't know about the Doran Becker line, I really like that concept of the kids at Doran Becker Hospital, like meeting up with Nike, making these really dope shoes and all of the proceeds go back to them and the hospital. So I thought that was really nice. And this one was my favorite model out of all of them. So, so it's kind of cool to see it in a beater box, man. I like this. Definitely a great boost of value. And now we got the box rolling. Okay, so we got three boxes left in here. This one is a 
Jordan 1, size 9 it says. And it says sample on the tag. <laughs> what? No way, what? This is insane. Are you serious right now? Dude, this, this is seriously like insane to have. I've never seen this in person. This is like the black and gold patent leather. Everything is made out of patent leather. But this was a freaking grail, man. These things go upwards of like $1,000 by itself. And the condition is really nice. I mean, patent leather, so it was worn. You can see the creasing over here, but everything else looks like really clean on this. It's got the extra laces in here too. That is so sick. If you guys didn't know what's crazy about this is this was actually a reworked shoe from 2003. And this one released in 2013. And it was like unseen before for like patent leather to be on a Jordan 1. So that's what made it pretty iconic. And just the fact that it's a beautiful shoe. Look at that. On the bottom, there's like gold specks in the sole too. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, look at that. Dope. This is sick. Oh man. Best beater box ever. Quite possibly. Holy sh. I'm like freaking out. Whew. And there's still more in this box. And I see one that's peeking out. So I'm just going to grab it already. Ugh. I have never seen this either, but check this out. Jordan 7 Premio. Premio. Size nine and a half. Oh gosh, this box is not the greatest box, but oh shoot. No way, this is not a dead stock pair. Is this a freaking, oh my God, I think it's almost a dead stock pair. It's gotta be used once, I think. And I'm pretty certain that this is a dead stock pair with that one flaw over the toe box, I think. You can see that, it's like a little scratch. And look at this, <laughs> I've never seen this before. Look at this, look how premium that is. And for all of the premium models, there's actually a number in here. So out of 2059, this is number 275, 275, you can see it right there. Wow, like wow, this is definitely the best beater box we've ever gotten to date. I gotta really check it to see if it is dead stock, but if it is, that price is smash, man. And even if it's not, it's probably a really, really good price though. Also, it has the OG bags in here. So if you look over here, these are the dust bags that come with them. So you can see that BIN 23 right there, nice. So it has OG all, that's pretty dope. Oh man, they're giving us grails for this one. Shoot, I'm like floored by this. Wild. And you know what's crazy is we're not even done yet. We're not even done. We just got the Jordan 1 metallic gold, a Doran Becker, and the Premio 7. And we still got one more shoe in here. How's that? Ah, shoot, okay. It's, well, it was almost good. This one is a tennis hue. I saw this and I was like, okay, shoot, we're in business. What the? What? <laughs> oh my god. Yeez this is oh that was a lot of oh man. This is the Yeezy infrared is what they're calling it, or like the Yeezy, they call it a solar too sometimes. I'm not really sure why, but yeah. So this is from the Black Friday pack, and this stripe is the one that was the best one out of like the copper and the green and stuff like that. So this is a rare shoe, and this one is in a size 12, obviously a replacement box because it's a Yeezy. But man, this thing has great value to it. Like, I definitely was not expecting this. Holy, you can see the bottoms, a little bit used, but overall condition is premium. What the? F I'm so floored right now. I'm like sweating, not because it's just hot, but because it's like so crazy. Like, what? Without a doubt, without a doubt, the best box that we've ever gotten on the channel, without a doubt. So I'm guessing that the counter is going crazy. We got the Yeezy infrared, we got the Jordan 1 black and gold, we got the Jordan 4 DB, and we got the Premio 7, along with like whatever, the other shoes are just meh. But that is a huge box. Oh, my heart's racing. They must have known it was for the 75,000 celebration. That's so wild, ah! Okay, anyway, that's enough of that, that's enough of that. So do I even need to ask what you guys think of the box? Like, I'm pretty sure it's apparent that this was a come up and a half, and a half. Anyway, don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm like, can't even think straight right now. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Link will be in the description below giving away that free hype box to some lucky subscriber. Thank you guys again for 75,000. Means way more than all of these shoes in here. It just means a lot to me. And I just wanna give back a little bit to you guys, so thank you. Just click on the link below, follow the steps, and you guys are good to go. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, stay humble, stay blessed. Take care, guys. I'll see you, aloha. Shoots.